every, every person who teaches a subject thinks that their subject is the greatest subject ever. And they're all wrong except for me. Chemistry is the greatest subject ever. You know, it's not referred to as the central science for nothing. You know, it, it, it extends its fingers, its tendrils into every area from engineering and biology and science and society and, and the environment. So having an understanding of chemistry is, is fundamental to everyone. Flash of white light. <laughs> Humor is a big part of my class, you know, whether I'm talking to students, asking them questions, uh, you know, picking on them in the front row, uh, or peppering my slides with pop culture quotes and Simpsons references and Futurama and, you know, whatever it can be, you know, so you never know what's going to come up. I do my own mini lectures at my desk where I solve certain types of problems and I put those online for students to use after the fact. Today's solution to an acid-based problem is going to be brought to you by the former MMA female champion, uh, Ronda Rousey. And the reason I'm the former MMA champion is because I got my butt kicked by my last opponent. Actually, I got my face kicked by my last opponent. The reason I got kicked was because I underestimated her. The next exam in chemistry, acid base, don't underestimate that opponent. I really try to engage students while they're in the lectures, so uh, I use uh, clicker technology so that even though I'm in a room with a hundred or more kids, uh, I can ask questions of the class, they can talk amongst themselves, then they can respond. I give out little prizes, you know, for students that, you know, get the most correct answers in a day or that are the fastest responders. I do demonstrations, of course. I only get a reaction when the hydrogen escapes from me. If I wasn't doing these demonstrations for the students in front of the classroom, I would be doing them in my garage for my own entertainment at home at night. You know, I'm going to be doing these demonstrations one way or the other, so I might as well show them to the kids and say, look how exciting chemistry is.